Hey guys, today we're going over firing arcs and damage arcs, which are not the same. I totally thought they were the same for like my first year of running this game, but I didn't know any better. It was a mistake. It's a very common misconception. Anyway, let's get to it. So here we have the black mech is firing at the red mech. And right now, the red mech is in the black mech's front firing arc. That means that, that the black mech can fire at the red mech with any weapons mounted in its torsos, in its arms, or even in its legs, provided that those weapons in the legs are forward-facing, and provided that there's no level 1 Hill providing partial cover to the black mech because in that case the leg mounted forward facing weapons would just hit the level one hill they can't shoot over that to get to the red mech up there whoops okay if the red mech was over here the red mech would be in the black mech's left arm and left side firing arc, in which case the black mech can only shoot at the red mech with weapons mounted in its left arm. The same thing applies to the right side firing arc. Now the black mech can only fire at the red mech with weapons in its right arm. It does one of these boom or pew as the weapons do. Things only get a little interesting with the rear arc. Here the black mech can only fire at the red mech with weapons mounted in its rear or in its legs. And those leg mounted weapons have to be rear facing. And naturally we can't have a level one hill right there. No, no, it's in the way. However, some mechs can reverse flip their arms, in which case their arms then fire into the rear firing arc, which is, of course, this green area, if I didn't say that already. And I want to make sure I get this right, so I'm going to read to you for just, just a little bit. A mech whose record sheet does not show hand and lower arm actuators in both arms on its critical hit table, and that does not have any weapons split between torso and arm locations, can flip its arms. After flipping its arms, a mech uses the rear firing arc for arm-mounted weapons instead of the usual firing arcs. So there you have it. One thing I shamefully forgot to mention is that if we're in this situation and the red mech is there, then the black mech can fire at the red mech with any legs mounted, <laughs> with any weapons mounted in its legs because the level one hill is not within the line of sight. So leg-mounted weapons can still shoot over there um torso twisting during the weapon attack phase when everyone is declaring their attacks the controller of the black mech can decide to torso twist one hex side and that basically means the mech keeps its fate it feet ah. this means the black mech keeps its feet facing forward but the mech does one of these it torso twists one hex side yeah and what that does to the firing arcs is let's say let's say here's our front firing arc it makes all the front firing arcs kind of shift one hex side like so but the feet stay the same so the firing arcs for any leg mounted weapons do not change that means in this situation say the mech torso twisted one hex side these arcs here, this front arc would still be the legs front arc, but it would not be the torso and arms front arc. Yes. And if this mech were to fall prone, the firing arcs would not change. At all. Yes, so much for firing arcs. Let's move on to the damage arcs. Um, oh, nope, nope, we got one more thing to mention. So, a mech cannot both torso twist and flip its arms backwards in the same turn. 
That that's a no-no. Mechs don't just go. That's that's too much. It's too much uh, unless you and everyone at the table don't want it to be too much. In which case, we have optional rules for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm really done with this now. Now for damage arcs. Here we have the damage arcs. And in this situation, the red mech is firing at the black mech. So the black mech is the target now. You notice we still have the same um, sort of front, left, right, and rear thing going on. These are called hit zones. The front hit zone, the left hit zone, the right hit zone, the rear hit zone. But uh, people also call them like the front damage receiving arc or the left damage receiving arc, you know, tomato, tomato. These arcs correspond to a certain column on the mech hit location table. So if the red mech successfully shoots the black mech, the red mech's controller would then roll on the hit location table to see where the shots landed. And that hit location table looks like this. There are three columns. Right now the front slash rear column is highlighted because the red mech is in the black mech's front hit zone. So the red mech's controller would roll on this column, which is the same for the rear. Uh, there's also the left side right there. The red mech's controller would use that column if the red mech was here and shooting in to the black mech. Uh, as for the rear, you use the same column as you do for the front. You see we got front slash rear, you, the, the same column you use. But you roll for torso hits on the rear armor instead of the front. And the same thing respectively happens for the right side. The only weird thing occurs when the attacker is in one of these white hexes. In this case, the target, the black mech, chooses whether it wants to be in the front arc or the left arc. And naturally, if the white, if the red mech was in this white hex firing at the black mech, the black mech would choose if it wants to be shot at from the right side arc or the rear. It's the target's choice. Now, these damage receiving arcs do not change if the mech is prone. They don't. They stay the same. I hit my mic there, I apologize. Also note that these hit zones do not change based on torso twisting. Torso twisting has nothing to do with these zones. So if this mech torso twisted, went like this, one hex side, that would not change these damage firing arcs at all. These damage, or these damage receiving arcs, I'm sorry would not change. These damage receiving arcs or these hit zones are based on the directions the legs are facing, not based on the direction the torso is facing. I think that's about everything. Let me just check. Um, yeah, that's about it. Alrighty. Take care now. Bye-bye then.